Hey everybody, welcome back to the Canapreneur Partners uh, Canna News Break, I guess we're going to call it. Um, happy New Year, I'm pretty sure uh, everyone's pretty happy to see 2020 in the rearview mirror, uh, given what went on, and let's uh, let's hope that 2021 is a much more, uh, maybe call it a less stressful, less pandemic-y kind of year, so... Um, that being said, the cannabis industry had a banner year in the 2020, and uh, I don't see anything slowing it down in 2021. And as usual, we whatever the expectations are for sales in 2021 for cannabis, I think you could probably add 10 to 15 percent to that because uh, every estimate we see is low. Uh, they continue to be low, and uh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing for the industry. It's always exceeding expectations. So uh, along those lines, uh, Illinois. Uh, just yesterday announced that uh, they sold more than a billion dollars worth of legal cannabis in 2020. Uh, way blowing away estimates uh, that they had. And uh, some interesting thing alone, 87 million adult use purchases remained December alone. 10 million more than the prior month. So not only uh, are sales uh, for the year impressive, but they're accelerating month over month, which means that we can clearly expect Illinois to be well over a billion dollars in cannabis sales next year. Now, here's an interesting point. We've been saying for quite some time that uh, we are of the opinion here at Canapreneur that legalization for adult use is going to accelerate uh, at the state level this year. Uh, regardless of what happens with the federal government, whether they legalize it, whether they don't, just to criminalize it, just to the SAFE Act, whatever they do, um, at the state level, uh, cannabis is going to accelerate the legalization process. The cannabis sales are going to accelerate the, legal, the legalization process across the U.S. And I think that by the end of 2021, at least half the states in the U.S. are either legal for adult use or in the process of adding it to a ballot to legalize for adult use by 2022. Uh, I think the economics of the nation, economics of state budgets, are going to require that. An interesting statistic from this is that more than one quarter – of all purchases of cannabis in, in Illinois, so over $250 million worth, were from out-of-state residents. So those states surrounding Illinois that aren't legal for adult use are foregoing, voluntarily foregoing, tax revenues of over $250 million in cannabis purchases to Illinois. Illinois says thank you to your surrounding states. Massachusetts says thank you to New York, Connecticut, New, New Hampshire, uh, who have not legalized cannabis yet and is enjoying those additional tax revenues from those residents as they buy it. The, the failed logic that if we don't legalize it, people won't use it, um, hopefully now that this data is coming in, will we'll pr we'll help convince even the, the uh, most insanely um, anti-cannabis people that, you know what, you're, you're giving money away to your neighboring states because people are going to come here and buy it anyway. Uh, and... Uh, Illinois announced that they had collected more than $25 million in revenue this year. I'm sorry, more than $100 million in revenue this year from cannabis sales. So think about that the reverse. Over $25 million in cannabis tax revenue came to Illinois from other states. And again, other states. Illinois thanks you. So this is great news. This is more of what we've been saying all along that cannabis has, has been recession-proof. It has been pandemic-proof. If anything, it surged through both. And we expect that to continue in 2022. And I think as more states start seeing this data come in, they're going to hop on the bandwagon at an increasing pace. So, you know, whether the federal government does anything or not, I think the states out of necessity are going to start legalizing cannabis uh, well before they thought they were going to. So that's all for today. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you later.